For a lot of people, Chromebooks can be hit or miss devices. You need to know what you can expect before you buy one, as is usually the case with many tech products. However, once you find the perfect one for you, no one will be able to stop you. Well, in this video, we break down the top 5 best Chromebooks on the market this year, based on price versus performance and situations they will be used in. We'll be taking a look at products in every budget range, so regardless of whether you've got a few bucks to spare and want the best value, or are looking for the best of the best, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which Chromebook will be best for you, stay tuned. As always, all the links to all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. We also update the description down below with links to find the best price on each product. So for the most up-to-date information along with updated prices, be sure to check out the description. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned till the end so you don't miss anything. Number 5 on our list is Samsung XE510C24-K01US, our choice for the best value per dollar Chromebook. Samsung has been consistently making premium quality electronics for decades, although the brand itself has existed for 80 years now. They seem to knock other manufacturers out of the park with many of their devices. There's no reason to believe that their Chromebook Pro is any different. As a matter of fact, the Samsung Chromebook Pro is truly a sight to behold. Like all Chromebooks, it can run any app from the Google Play Store, but its most distinguishing characteristic is its 360-degree rotating screen that comes with a built-in pen. That means that you'll be able to use the keyboard, or flip it around as a stand, or even flip it flat against the display, like a tablet. The keyboard itself has clicky, low-profile keys and a click pad, and it's spill-resistant as well. The 12.3-inch touchscreen display is fairly common in the Chromebook category of products, but it still has a great resolution of 2400 by 1600 pixels. In addition, the interior specs are also pretty good. The Chromebook Pro uses an Intel Core M3 processor that can reach 2.2GHz of speed in Turbo Boost mode. Furthermore, the graphics card is also by Intel, their Graphics 515, and should make running even 3D games easy. Whether you're gaming, streaming content, or even working, the 2-cell 5140 mAh lithium-ion battery will get you through 9 hours of moderate usage. The Chromebook has 4GB of RAM, as well as about 4GB of storage space, which is one of the hallmarks of Chromebooks. Before you start worrying about the memory, though, you should keep in mind that these devices are designed to be used with Google Drive and similar cloud storage apps. And you can also expand the memory by up to 32GB with a microSD card. Aside from the card slot, the Chromebook also has two USB-C ports, as well as a headphone jack. But if you're not all that much of a headphone person, the two built-in speakers work just as well. The device also contains a mic and a 720p webcam you can use for video calls. And aside from the Wi-Fi, the Chromebook also has a Bluetooth 4.1 connection. If you can see yourself using this Chromebook, it retails for $600, but you'll be able to find it for as low as $450. Number 4 on our list is Acer Chromebook R11, our choice for the best Chromebook under $300. Acer's Chromebook R11 convertible is one of the most affordable ones on the market, at under $300. However, since the brand is famous for creating devices at many different price points, we're not surprised that one of their Chromebooks managed to earn a spot on our list. So, why exactly did we choose to include this device? Let's review. Just like the previous Chromebook we've talked about, this one has a keyboard you can rotate by 360 degrees, so you will be able to use the Chromebook as a tablet or just prop it up on the keyboard to watch movies. The display is slightly smaller than the one we saw on the previous device. It measures in at 11.6 inches, and it has a 1366 by 768 resolution. Ultimately, there are better quality displays on the market, but this is about the best you can get for the price. The camera is of similar quality to the previous device as well, so it can record in 720p quality. You definitely won't be disappointed by this Chromebook's Wi-Fi or Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity. After all, these features will enable you to access all sorts of content directly from the Google Play Store. While we're on the subject of connectivity, let's discuss the many ports this device has. Of course, there's the headphone jack and the SD card slot. Furthermore, the device also has USB 2.0 and 3.0 ports, as well as an HDMI port with HDCP. As always, you shouldn't expect much in the way of storage out of a Chromebook. Although the device does have 32GB of internal memory, you probably won't need it. As we've mentioned, 
Google Drive would be your primary storage, and you should even get 100GB of free space with this purchase. This Chromebook runs on an Intel Celeron N3150 processor that can reach a speed of up to 2.08GHz in Turbo Boost mode. It also uses an integrated Intel HD graphics card which should perform well enough. There are 4GB of RAM, which is excellent. In fact, it's about all you can expect out of most Chromebooks because they don't really require more since they all run on a version of the Android operating system. So if you're interested in getting a low-budget device, this is a great option to consider. Third on our list is Asus C302CA-DHM4. Asus is another company that's known for making great electronic devices at various price points. Their Chromebook Flip C302 is yet another device that has 360-degree hinges that help you use the keyboard as a stand or convert the Chromebook into a tablet. In fact, this Chromebook's keyboard is also backlit, which is a fairly rare feature in this product category. Still, it should be very helpful if you're working in dimly lit areas. But before we talk about the extras, we should go over the basic features of this product. So let's start with the display. The Asus Chromebook has a stellar 12.5 inch 1920x1080 resolution display. It's a full HD display rather than an HD one, which should make watching movies and shows more entertaining than ever before. The device comes with 4GB of RAM and an Intel Core M3 processor that can achieve a speed of 2.2GHz with the Turbo Boost feature. So you can be sure that this Chromebook will be able to run all of the apps you'll need. Intel has also supplied the graphics card this device uses, the Intel HD Graphics 515. All of this and more is stored in a high-quality aluminum metal frame. Furthermore, the device also has 64GB of internal storage, as well as a microSD slot you can use to upgrade the memory. Of course, it also comes with 100GB of Google Drive storage space as well. In addition to the memory card reader, the Chromebook also has a USB 3.1 Type-C port, as well as an audio jack. What's more, like most Chromebooks, this device has excellent Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 connections. Naturally, these internal specs would mean nothing if the device didn't have a decent power source. Fortunately, this Chromebook has a powerful battery that can last for up to 10 hours. Overall, at just under the $500 price point, this device is a real steal. And if you want a bit more processing power, you can choose to get the version of the device that runs on the Intel Core M5 processor instead of the M3, for the slightly higher price of just over $600. And for an added $10 to the cost of the M3 Chromebook, you can get a G Suite subscription, Google's own professional productivity and collaboration tools. Number two on our list is Samsung Chromebook 3, our choice for the best Chromebook under $200. We've already had one Samsung product on this list. After all, it's a familiar name and a reliable brand. Still, nothing can show you what a company is really like better than comparing their high and low end products. So let's check out the Samsung Chromebook 3, which originally cost about $230. However, it's frequently available for under $150, so we're counting it as an under $200 price point contender. You can tell exactly how the manufacturer made that price point so low at a glance. The 11.6-inch screen has a resolution of 1366 by 768 pixels, which is pretty mediocre. However, since the screen is so small, we don't envision the resolution playing a big part in your experience with this product at all. In fact, a device this small should fit into most people's bags, so it's ideal for work or play. Although this Chromebook doesn't have 360-degree hinges, it can be flattened to a 180-degree angle. The keyboard is also water-resistant, which is great for kids or accident-prone people, or areas like kitchens. You can follow along to recipes without worrying about spilling any ingredients. What's more, you'll be able to do so without completely draining your battery. It's a fact of life that lithium-ion batteries have a certain amount of charges in them before they start to lose capacity. That's exactly why Samsung included a battery life extender which allows the 4400 mAh battery to maintain capacity for longer. At optimum capacity though, it should last about 11 hours. The Chromebook 3 also has a 1.6 GHz Intel Celeron processor, but you can use Turbo Boost to get it up to 2.48 GHz. It also has an integrated Intel HD Graphics 400 chip. There are only 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of storage space, although the latter is upgradable up to 32 GB. 
Lastly, the device also has a great Wi-Fi connection and Bluetooth 4.0, which should come in handy when transferring data or using Bluetooth speakers. With such an affordable price, the question isn't really, why should you buy this Chromebook? The question is, why wouldn't you? Although the specs aren't exactly spectacular, they're perfectly respectable. You'll be able to stream any content you like and download all sorts of apps from the Google Play Store. What more could you want? Number one on our list is Google Pixelbook. Finally, what would our list be without Google's Pixelbook? After all, Google designed the basic Chrome operating system all of these devices use. The Pixelbook is certainly one of the more high-end devices, retailing for $700 to $850, depending on whether you get it with extra accessories. Still, the features more than make up for the steeper price point, so let's see how the Pixelbook stands out from the crowd. To begin with, let's talk about the exterior before we take a peek under the hood. First of all, like the first three products we've mentioned, this one has a completely rotating keyboard. The keyboard is also backlit for ease of use. Also, like the other devices, it weighs in between 2 and 3 pounds, so don't expect to pick a winner based on portability. They are all just as great on that front. The 12.3-inch 2400x1600 resolution display is truly a rare find within this category. The integrated graphics card will make sure that not a pixel goes to waste. Moreover, the Chromebook has 8GB of RAM memory, which is double the size of the next best device. However, the Pixelbook also comes in a 16GB RAM version if you need more space. Aside from the impressive RAM size, there are also 128GB of internal storage. And again, the device also comes with 256GB or 512GB of internal storage as well. The Pixelbook also uses a 7th gen Intel Core i5 processor which is more suited for a traditional laptop and almost overpowering for a Chromebook. With Turbo Boost, you should be able to get the processor up to 3.3 GHz easily. Connectivity will be a breeze with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.2 features. On top of that, all of the important ports are also there. On the left side of the keyboard, you'll have the power and volume buttons, as well as a headphone jack and a USB-C port. There's also another USB-C port on the right. If you want to use this device as an entertainment Chromebook or to video chat, you'll have dual speakers, four mics, and even a modest but functional 720p camera. The battery will last you a good 10 hours. The best part? You'll only have to charge it for about 15 minutes to get two hours of use. So yes, the Google Pixelbook is about as impressive as the other electronic devices in Google's line of products, but we would expect nothing else from the tech giant. Alright guys, that is all for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you liked the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to know what the best gear out there is, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up-to-date pricing on all the products mentioned in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope everyone has a great day, and until next time, I will see you guys later.